Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching on location today. But I got a letter from Austin Knudsen's office, who is the Attorney General of Montana. And he, along with 15 other state attorneys general, have sent a letter to Joe Biden related to his assault weapon ban, and it's phenomenal. I'm gonna read you a little bit of it, and uh, let's talk about it here. It says, Dear President Biden, we write to address your irresponsible and unconstitutional demand that Congress ban firearms commonly used by law-abiding Americans for self-defense. With every tool at our disposal, we will oppose your attempt to trample on Americans' fundamental right to defend themselves with guns. Last week, you called on Congress to ban so-called assault weapons. While you fail to define the very epithet you propose to ban, we know that is by design. Anti-gun politicians like yourself use the misleading label of assault weapons to scare Americans, expecting us to endorse your efforts to criminalize law-abiding gun owners. We also know that your personal definition of assault weapons is staggeringly broad, encompassing all semi-automatic weapons, which are the most common and effective self-defense weapons in use today, employed by over 100 million Americans to defend their homes and families. Last November, in a moment of unscripted candor, you stated to reporters that the idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. It's just sick. It has no, no social redeeming value. Zero. None. Not a single solitary rationale for it except profit from the gun manufacturers. And I covered that here. If you remember, it was, he was standing outside of uh, his helicopter and he let that one slip. And I did the video saying that he wants to ban semi-automatics. And he's been fighting that ever since because kind of let the cat out of the bag. I'm gonna to jump to the end here and then I'll link this letter so that you can read it on your own. It says your claim that the 1994 federal assault weapons ban, which you supported in Congress, reduced mass shootings is also unsupportable. Two different studies commissioned by the United States Department of Justice during the Clinton and Bush administrations found no discernible effect on violent crime from that legislation. The right to keep and bear arms in self-defense guards and protects the right to life. The first and most fundamental God-given right recognized in the Declaration of Independence. The right to keep and bear arms exists for the purpose of allowing citizens to resist tyranny, both the petty tyranny of an armed criminal and the systemic tyranny of oppressive government. Our nation has a proud history of protecting and defending this fundamental right, and the times when we have failed to do so represent some of the darkest hours of our collective history. And needless to say, your repeated attempts to deprive law-abiding Americans of guns that are in common and widespread use for self-defense are patently unconstitutional. Just last term, drawing from this historical tradition, the Supreme Court reaffirmed that the Second Amendment protects the carrying of weapons that are in common use at the time. Semi-automatic weapons and rifles are indisputably in common use for self-defense today. Indeed, semi-automatic handguns are the quintessential self-defense weapon. There is no justification for laws restricting the public carry of weapons that are unquestionably in common use today. In sum, the right to keep and bear arms is one of the most fundamental and deeply rooted liberties in our constitutional tradition. It guards and protects the most basic of all rights, the right to life, and it stands as a constant bulwark against tyranny. We stand ready to oppose any attempt by your administration to trample on this fundamental constitutional right. Sincerely, Austin Knudsen, the Attorney General of Montana. He was joined by the Attorneys General of Alabama, Arkansas, Indiana, Kansas, Mississippi, Alaska, Idaho, Iowa, Kentucky, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Utah, Wyoming, Texas, and West Virginia. Now, like I said, I'll link this uh, letter down below. There is more into it. It goes into some of the stuff that Biden did uh, during the State of the Union, how he looked terrible using just stick, <laughs> stick, read it if you want to dig deep into it. And uh, I will say that there are se several attorneys general out there from pro-gun states that aren't on this letter, and they probably should be. And if you live in those states, call your AG's office and ask why they didn't join these attorneys general in telling Joe Biden to jump in a lake when it comes to our Second Amendment. Guys and gals, let me know what you think about this letter down below. Good on these AGs uh, and good on the Attorney General of Montana for getting it going. I really appreciate when people push back. It's just been my lifestyle uh, and uh, this is good. We need to push back. Uh, it's going to be an odd couple of years here with uh, a new slight majority in the House, a Democrat controlled Senate and of course uh, dementia patient in the corner office. But uh, let me know what you think about this letter down below. 
And uh, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe down below so that the channel continues to get the word out. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.